Hello Rockstars, I'm Falco from the German YouTube channel Zocket. Today I have a few tips for you on how to use your workers as efficiently as possible. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss any Rise of Kaiches content. You have workers both in your capital city and in allied cultures. However, since the way they work is quite similar, we will mainly focus on your capital here. Some workers will be provided to you by the town hall as soon as you arrive in your new city. More will be obtained by building homes or other buildings like some evolving buildings. They are needed for all kinds of activities in the city, such as the production of food or goods, as well as the recruitment of units and barracks and the construction and upgrade of buildings. Since the number of workers in your city is severely limited by the maximum number of homes and the limited construction space for evolving buildings, you must use their manpower wisely and as efficiently as possible. Prioritized building upgrades As the game progresses, upgrading takes more and more time and resources, which ties more and more workers to these construction sites for a longer and longer time. Therefore, do not upgrade your buildings carelessly, but prioritize important buildings. Workshops and barracks should be upgraded as soon as possible, because their upgrades also result in better production times or higher quality goods and stronger units. Homes can often maintain low levels for a relatively long time, since an upgrade only increases coin production slightly. With farms, it can sometimes be advisable to intentionally avoid an upgrade for a long time, as this often increases the number of workers required to be employed on the farm and the culture necessary to get full production boost. After the upgrade, you might even have less workers free for other projects because you have to employ more in farms to produce food, or your production might even be less than before because you lost the full culture boost. Sooner or later, you will have to upgrade these buildings to prevent a coin or food shortage. Multitasking This is a very difficult and individual point, as it can be different for each player. But in general, it is better to always take care of as many different productions at the same time as possible. If you use all of your workers for one area at a time, like food production, you run the risk of constantly suffering from a lack of other resources. If you change tasks only when you feel shortages, it is already too late. By the time you have made up for the shortage, you will be running out of another resource. Instead, try to produce a little everywhere at all times and use only some of your workers as jumpers between areas to support production in a timely manner before shortage occur. Strict Schedule The most inefficient worker is the one who does nothing. To increase the efficiency of your troop, you must try to maintain as few free workers as possible. Start long productions or upgrades in the evening so that they work through the night and use the day when you can log in more often for shorter tasks like shorter productions, incidents and recruitments. Always be aware that this form of efficiency increase can quickly have an impact on your real life. In the end, Rise of Cultures is meant to entertain and amuse you, not rule your life. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this video and wish you lots of fun with the game. Don't forget to join the official Facebook group to meet fellow rockers and exchange strategies. Keep on rocking!